Hey guys, it's Xavier from Kingship Digital and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use keyword lists to build listening topics. Uh, this is going to be the first of three listening focused videos and they will be released over the course of the next few weeks. So to navigate to listening we would from our desktop select under research if we scroll down and select under listening, listening topics. So for this example, we would firstly need to make a keyword list. So moving over to the top left of the screen and selecting under the hamburger menu located here, we would select under settings and keyword lists. So moving over to the top right of the screen, we would simply select under add keyword lists. We're going to title it test for this example, add the appropriate tags, and then we're going to do an internet based search. So we'll do Google, make sure you press enter. If the query word had a space in between it, make sure you have quotation marks around it and then we'll simply create. So if we wanted to search for that keyword list, we would simply go over to the search icon located here and search for test and there it is. So now we would create our topic group. So going back to the hamburger icon located here, we would go down to settings and this time select under topics. Moving over to the right, we would add in our topic group. So we'll name it internet based. Add a description, we can choose to share it with everyone if we want. And then we would select the user. So for this one, I'm just going to select uh, Kingship Digital Admin and then create. So now we would go into add topic. We would select from our topic group internet based. Uh, if you have a pre configured template, you would select that template from here and then our topic type will be query based listening and then we create. So this is where we build out our query. You can add in a topic name, a brief description, you can include the messages dates so from when you want to start receiving them to the end date as so. So now scrolling down under queries where we add in our keywords so any, all or none if we want to exclude. So for example any related to Google would do Google Plus, uh, Gmail, if we didn't want to include some, that would be Yahoo or Bing, as so. Now, as you can see down here, we've decided to put in Google and Gmail, and then as you can see, it will not include Yahoo or Bing. So now, these are the social channels that we can search from and listen to. So another nice little feature is if we move to the top right of the screen, select under Preview, this opens up a third pane to display expected volume, etc. of the query. Uh, this is based purely off Twitter as Twitter has the historic capabilities. So in terms of benefits, by being able to create and filter keywords based on what you want to listen to and from the channels that you want to hear from, allows users to understand their customer and provide higher quality experiences based off this knowledge. By utilizing social listening, you are tracking relevant topics and influences ensuring that your customers are feeling heard and will enable you to spot those crises before they arise. So that's it for now. Of course, if you'd like to learn anything more about this particular feature or any other features on the platform, feel free to get in touch with us here at Kingship Digital by following the link below to our website. Also, please like and subscribe and we'll see you all next time. Cheers, guys.